right, uh, for this tutorial, we're going to be covering uh, four different commands here. Uh, mirror, uh, we're going to be covering scaling, uh, one-dimensional, two-dimensional, and three-dimensional, that is, uh, taper, and shear. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start off with uh, creating a mirrored object. And so the first thing we need to do is create some geometry. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and create a couple of curves. I'll get us started here. And so the way the mirror works is um, if we pull this up, we can, uh, the command is also hidden under the move tool, uh, or we can just type mirror. Uh, and then the way that it starts is you have to define an axis to be mirrored about. Uh, so I'm just going to hit shift to put that, but you can also start to see how this thing starts to define itself. Um, so it's a really simple and basic command. Uh, any kind of geometry can be mirrored to, along this axis. So it's basic. Um, then we're going to start to look at stretching. So if we start to build a volume here, we can start to look at uh, scaling this. Um, so you can scale one-dimensionally, two-dimensionally, or three-dimensionally. Uh, so if we type in scale 1D, we can define an axis for that scale, and we can start to distort that geometry along that axis. Um, we can start to stretch a box into a, a rectangular box and things like that. Um, the, all of those tools are actually found right here. If you click and hold, we can see the scale 1, 2. And there's non-uniform scale, which is uh, less useful. All right, and so we can go ahead, if we decide we want to do a two different scale 2D, go ahead and set that up. You can see how this starts to scale out two-dimensionally. Uh, right. We're not adjusting height. And then we can also take this and do a full-on scale, just to make it bigger. Right. In, all, in every case, this is actually relative to an origin, so we can start, start to scale based on geometry. Uh, if we want to scale relative to the location we have to pick and snap to an endpoint, uh, we can start to use this. Uh, if we have other geometries oriented along that, so we want to scale this so this is proportional, we can take this, and then where those two intersect, we can start to scale and form relationships with the geometry. Uh, all right, uh, the third command here is the taper command. Uh, essentially for that, we basically need a, I'll go ahead and delete this away, create a template geometry here. And just create a really tall geometry. And for tapering, uh, that's also embedded in the transform menu under the move command. You just define a, a base. This works uh, very, very similar to similarly to the twist command. We define an axis. And then we define a base jump uh, dimension here. And then we can either start to blow that up or we can start to taper that down. Uh, it's important to note that this also, we need to pay attention to how we start to locate that. Just like in twist, uh, that core axis is going to remain un, unmodified. So everything around that, the farther away you get from that core axis, the more the geometry is going to become distorted. So that's something we want to pay attention to. Uh, and then the last command here is the shear, which is again and located in the transform command. We can come up and we just define a shear axis, uh, and then we can start to grab that axis and start to distort that uh, across in any direction we like. Okay, that's really basic.